Hello y'all and welcome back to the channel. I'm Marquita here with a mini uh, shopping haul, mostly some fragrances along with um, one new item that has just come out recently. So this is a little mix of things. Um, one group of fragrances that I'm going to talk about are from the Valentino line, which I really do enjoy. Um, but this was actually a gift that I received um, for Christmas. However, you can still purchase um the regular size bottles of these and they do sell the travel sprays um separately but when i received this gift this was actually a three-piece gift set and it sold out super super quick so i was very fortunate to actually get the um three-piece set however again you can purchase these travel sprays separately now um as well as in regular size so we're gonna go ahead and get into it i have a few items from ulta or a couple a couple of items from ulta and then i have um, a couple things from sephora so let's go ahead and get into these fragrances and again if you're new here hello Hello and welcome and please be sure to like and subscribe so you can see more videos. All right, so we'll start with the set I was just referring to. This is the Valentino set. Um, this is three different variations of the Born in Roma fragrance. So you have Born in Roma Yellow Dream, Born in Roma Coral Fantasy, and then of course you have the original Born in Roma. So this again was the gift set that um, came from Ulta Beauty. I wanna say Sephora probably had it too. It was out around Christmas time, but it sold out super, super quick. One thing I was attracted to was the design, um, one, the colors, I love the bright colors. And then also the design of this kind of spiky um, case. And even if you see the regular size bottles, they have that kind of spiky um, feeling as well, texture. So I love that. I think it's really cool and it stands out. If you're someone who likes to display like, you know, your perfume bottles anywhere, it would be a cute little standout piece as well. And if I can get it out, because the spikes do keep it in place. So maybe that was the thought process behind that. All right. So we'll start with the obviously in the yellow and it does say Valentino might be a little hard to see but it's kind of right there in the middle where it is smooth. All right so again these are all travel sprays um, as I mentioned before I'm not someone who likes rollerballs so when it comes to the travel size um, perfumes I love the sprays only I do not purchase rollerballs anymore. Um, I just find them not to give off the fragrance the same way a spray does. And it doesn't allow you to um, kind of indulge in the fragrance, in my opinion, the way a spray would. So I only stick with travel sprays. And most of the time, if it's a new fragrance or just a fragrance, when I'm trying something like this, I tend to get um, the travel sizes one because I have tons of large size bottles of perfume. And I also just like the travel sprays to just be able to drop in my purse or luggage if I'm on the go. So let's start with the Born in Roma, Roma Yellow Dream. And I have not tried any of these. As you can see, these are all brand new. Um, due to my apartment flooding, I just haven't had a chance to really sit down and enjoy my Christmas gifts because I've been on the move, on the go, getting a uh, business done. But now that things are, you know, back to pretty much normal, then I can actually start going back through those things. So the notes in this one before we spray, I know that it has an Italian lemon. Um, it's considered a musky floral. That's the family that it belongs in. Um, the top notes are like an Italian lemon. And then you also have some bergamot as well. And then in the middle, you get a rose essence and peony. And then the base is cedar wood essence, vanilla essence, and white musk. So essentially you get... Um, lemon and rose and musk those are kind of the key pieces and again it's a musky floral so let me go ahead and just spray a little bit on my hand all right there we go and give it a second to marinate there Ooh, i like this so i definitely get the lemon right off the bat it actually smells like something else that i smelled before not from valentino it's, I don't know what it is. I do get the fact that it is like a very citrusy kind of um, thing. And again, lemon, of course. But it smells like another fragrance. Not, in, and I'm not saying that as a bad thing, because I didn't even remember what the fragrance was, but it smells like something familiar. 
but I like it. It's kind of a nice soft floral. Um, but and when I say soft, meaning that it's it's coming through, but it's not overpowering. Next up, we have the Coral Fantasy. Um, and this is the one that's kind of orangey looking. And I believe these individually now are like 30 bucks a piece. So you can still purchase them in travel size if that's something that you're interested in. Um, I always recommend that if it's something that, you know, a new fragrance or a new uh, brand that you're not used to. If you can, purchase the travel spray first just to see if you like it. Um, even though companies do like Ulta and Sephora have really good return policies. Um, I know with Ulta, as long as the bottle is at least half full, you can return your fragrance. But travel sprays are one, just a, a safer and less expensive investment to start with, especially for items that maybe you can't get a sample of in the store. They don't have a tester. Travel sprays are the way to go. So all right, here we have Coral um, Fantasy. I'll put the notes up on the screen because I'm not sure off top what note it is. And I could look it up on my phone, but that just takes time. So I'll put them on the screen for you. Coral Fantasy. And this, um, if you're wondering what this feels like, it's like a nice rubbery, um, I don't know if you say nice, but it feels like a rubbery, almost like those erasers we used to have in school. Okay. That my. Ooh, this is giving more of a fruity. Um, I guess you could say lemon is, lemon is a fruit too, but this is more of like a flor fruity floral. Whereas the first one was considered a musky floral here. This one's giving me more fruity tropical floral. And I don't, like I said, I don't remember what the notes are. So I could be totally lying, but that's the scent that I'm getting. I do like this one as well. All right. So this one is in the kind of a pink looking color. I'm actually going to be traveling out of town tomorrow. So I think I'm going to pop these in my bag. All right, so let's do one more. Find another spot on my body that's not been tested. And by the way, I was shopping in Ulta, of course, in uh, Sephora today. And I definitely was trying to spray myself with quite a few things I was trying out. Ooh, I feel like I did uh, spray the original Born Aroma. I tested this out in the store with the tester bottle. I do like this. Now, this one's not giving me fruity compared to the other. Both of the others, you gave me some form of fruit. This is not giving me fruit. They may have fruit, but that's not what I'm getting. Um, you know I'm not a professional, so I don't really know how to describe it. It's a very kind of fresh scent. Um, But again, not fruity, not giving me whereas the other two kind of gave me like a tropical or a fruity something this doesn't give me either of those um so if you're someone who doesn't like the fruit then you may prefer the original born aroma as opposed to the other two yellow dream and coral fantasy they're all likable um for their own reasons i don't remember how much the set was if i find it i will pop it up there for you but i will say i don't think this is available anymore this was just like a holiday you know how some um brands release gift sets just for the holidays for Christmas especially um, I think this was one of those sets and like I said it sold super quick all right so next I want to look at what I purchased today from um, Ulta and I got two different scents neither of these are necessarily new scents they're new to me but they're they've been out at least one for sure I know has been out and I have looked at them I've heard good things about um, one of the sets that I'm going to show you the other one is just something that I knew I would love and when I tell you guys what it's called you'll know why um this is part of the gucci flora line this is another travel spray this one was 38 dollars and this is the gucci flora gorgeous jasmine so y'all already know it had jasmine in it that was a that was an automatic that is my favorite scent if you're new here you've never seen me um do any fragrance hauls or reviews Almost every perfume that I own has jasmine somewhere in the notes. And I and that's one thing if you are new to perfumes or you're trying to get into scents and things, perfumes, and you're trying to figure out like, you know, what's your style, what are things that you like, you kind of want to think about are you do you like things that are more floral, more fruity, um, maybe a good mix. I would say when I describe my style, I like anything sweet, whether it's a sweet fruity scent or a sweet floral, those tend to be 
my favorites. And then pretty much anything, if it's got Jasmine, it doesn't matter if it's a top, middle, or base note. If Jasmine is listed in there, chances are I'm going to like it. And um, I'll pop the card up for my video that I did when I talked about some of my top favorite fragrances. And that was one of the things that I discovered when I did that video. Um, because I talked about the notes in each one. And I want to say like every perfume that I named had Jasmine somewhere in the notes. So Jasmine is my go-to and it's almost a guarantee. If I'm going to do a blind buy, if it has Jasmine in it, I, I know that I'm pretty much 99.9% .9 sure that I'm going to like it. So that's about the only time that I will do a blind buy on a fragrance is if it has Jasmine in it because I know it's probably going to be a hit for me. Um, but they have different ones. They also have one that's just like this, except for the box will be pink. And it says Gucci Flora um, Gardenia. I forgot what the uh, adjective they put in front of it, but it's a... Um, gardenia scent so they have that one and like i said it's pink this one is the gorgeous jasmine so i'll show you what it looks like i know what it smells like because i sprayed it on myself in the store they have the full size of these as well um in ulta for sure so relatively um simplistic looking bottle but that gives it that sleek kind of classic look um the bottle is like this color and it has the kind of floral pattern on it um all over and again, this one was $38, but just so you can see, that's what it looks like. And again, it's part of the Gucci Flora Collection um, Gorgeous Jasmine for $38 bucks at Ulta. All right, next we have Prada Candy. Now, this is one that has, I've seen a lot about, this is my first Prada purchase, and this is actually my first Gucci perfume purchase as well. Um, I do like some of the other Gucci's. I like the Gucci Bloom I like. I didn't smell uh, Gardenia, so I'm not sure what that smells like, so I don't know if I would like it or not, but um, I know I like the Bloom scent as well, so that's the first one I actually purchased. Um, and then here we have Prada Candy. Um, the newer scent is the Prada Paradox, I think it is. And people are, they either love it or hate it. I did smell it in the store. And from what I could smell, I only did an air test because by then I had already sprayed a billion other things on myself. But I like the way it smelled, at least in general. But Prada Candy is one that, um, it's been out. And again, people, if you are sweet, uh, fragrance lover, this might be one that you'll like. Um, I... Wasn't sure how I would feel about it. They did have a test that I had a really helpful um, sales associate in Ulta today. And she, um, we went through the perfumes and we talked about, you know, what we like. And we kind of like the same things. So she was saying the same thing about um, spraying it, you know, on yourself versus in the air. And I always tell people that because you can spray something in the air and it will smell wonderful. And then you buy it. And then when you get home and put it on you and you wear it, you hate it. And that or you or it doesn't smell the way you expected to smell because it's not what you smelled in the when you tested it out in the store. And that's because um, your body chemistry mixes with the fragrances. So I can't say that enough. What smells good on the little strip or what smells good um, just spraying it in the air doesn't mean it's going to smell like that on you. It may still smell good, but it may not be the scent that you're looking for or the reason why you felt like you want to buy it. So, um, Prada Candy is considered a warm and spicy um, fragrance here. It has white musk in it. It has some caramel in it. So, it's one, like I said, this is another one where people either love it or they don't. And, again, this comes down to your preference and, you know, what types of fragrances that you like. Now, again, I tend to like sweet and fruity or sweet and floral. This one is, again, more on the with the musk. Um, but it really depends on how it mixes now i did like i said i sprayed this on and i seem to like it and actually the sales associate smelled it on me on my hand and she said it smelled really good on me so we'll see and she wasn't just saying that to make me buy it because i was already buying something so and i do want to note that this was actually cheaper than my gucci um <laughs> perfume which is only one travel spray for $38, this was $33. And this set actually came out around the holidays as well. So I was kind of surprised that they had it in. But the sales associate said that she did not remember seeing it around the Christmas holidays. So that could be another situation where COVID delayed some things. This was available then for sure because I remember seeing it. But 
they still had about two or three of them in the store I was in. So could just be a, you know, demographic thing in terms of where we're located now versus, you know, other places. But again, this is Prada Candy. And with this set for $33, I that's mainly why I had to buy it because I was like, it's $33 for two of these. That's a lot. One single travel spray by itself is like 30 bucks for just this. So the fact that I can get all of this for 33 couldn't resist. Um, so travel spray and then you get a mini because the real, um, the full size bottle looks like this, but larger. And so you get this um spray as well and i like the fact that it's a spray i hope it's supposed to be now i gotta figure out how to work it because y'all know okay oh no it's a dabber Ugh, that sucks it was supposed to be a spray at least it was described as a spray but it's actually one of those dabbers so that's gonna kind of be horrible because i hate those but either way um it's still cute It'll look cute on my dresser. Um, but this, you get this. This is a lot of perfume. And then you get um, the regular travel spray. And I might figure out if there's a way to refill this. Because if I can, I'll just figure out how to pour it in here and keep it moving. But this is what the product candy looks like. And I'm going to spray it on myself again now that I don't have 800 other fragrances competing on my skin. Because in the store, like I said, I already sprayed quite a few fragrances already before I got to this one. So I didn't get as good of a scent test as I would have liked. And this is also when the whole return policy situation came in because she reassured me. Um, you know, if you don't like it, as long as it's at least half full, you can bring it back and return it. But we both agreed that it was a great deal. So it was worth the chance. And I'm going to be completely honest, I have never, I don't think I've ever returned a fragrance that I bought, even when it was a blind buy, because I haven't purchased anything that I didn't like enough to keep. And that includes blind buys, because again, I always read the notes, and that's why I let be my guide in terms of whether or not I'm going to like it, or like it enough to wear it. Okay, now that I'm getting it now. To me, it seems a little bit lighter um, compared to like the Valentino and all that. It doesn't like, I kind of have to really take a whiff to get it, but it's there and it does smell really good. And yeah, it said it's described as a playful and sophisticated women's fragrance with su subtle, warm, subtle white musk. Um... And I can see that um, it is a subtle scent. So like it's there, but you know, somebody would have to be, unless you spray a lot. Now I didn't spray a ton on. I just wanted to put enough on because I'm going to be going to bed soon. So I don't need to smell like product candy to go to sleep. But it does smell, um, it is a subtle scent. It's not like you're going to walk in a room and smell like product candy. If you were to spray it, you know, all over the way you would typically spray when you're going to go out, then it would still be subtle. Like it's not going to leave a trail, but you will still smell good in close proximity in an elevator or, you know, somewhere else where somebody's close enough to kind of get a whiff of you. It is a warm fragrance. So again, it belongs in a warm and fragrant um, gourmet family or families. Um, and the last thing that I want to show you guys on um, in my little haul is from Sephora. And this is a new product. And this is the Fenty, Fenty Icon um, Velvet Liquid Lipstick. So Rihanna just released this. Um, it's not in U Ulta yet. It's in Sephora already because I actually, pre that's hence why I have it. It's in Sephora. It will be coming to Ulta um, Sunday in stores. It's available online on Fenty Beauty as well as um, Sephora in store and online. And so this is the color, the MVP, which is similar to the lipstick, my favorite of the lipsticks that she has so far. Um, but this is the new, I guess you can say, uh, format of the lipsticks that she has out. And that is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick. For those who don't know, she was actually wearing this color when she performed on the Super Bowl. Now, again, MVP was my favorite color anyway, um, but that's why I went ahead and got it because I love a good red. There's another color that I liked, which is kind of a, it looks like a chocolate brown. It was already sold out um, today when I, at the Sephora, I was in a Sephora in Kohl's, and so it was already sold out. So I will plan on ordering that one for sure. 
um because i love a chocolate brown lip as well so we are going to just take a look at it i'm not going to put it on my lips because again i will be going to bed soon so i'm not going to put a matte lipstick on that's supposed to stay on for a while but i will uh here's the nice as always fenty's hitting with the design here you can see that fb kind of reflecting and again this is this color the mvp and it says on the box here, one swipe, full coverage color, long lasting velvet matte finish. Um, so that's the description for this one. So again, that's why I'm not going to put it on right now here at night because I don't want something um, that's going to stay on. I don't know if you guys can see that Fenty Beauty, like that symbol in there, but it's kind of like a holographic thing and it's inside. Like it's not printed on either the external piece. It's like in the middle and as you turn it and the light hits. So I really like that. And then, of course, you got the Fenty here, but I'll go ahead and open it. I'll probably wear this tomorrow. So if I do, I will be dropping photos. And it's just a beautiful red color. Oh, it feels very smooth. There we go. There's MVP. I'm going to show it to you in just a second. I just want to close this because one thing about these mats, you don't want them to, it's a liquid mat, so you don't want it to dry out, but. There we go. And these are $29 a piece. So that's my little mini haul of fragrances and new items here. Um, and again, like I said, the Fenty, uh, Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick is already available in Sephora and online and on FentyBeauty.com and it will be releasing in stores on Sunday. So by the time you guys see this, it'll already be out in stores in Ulta, um, in Ulta stores, sorry. Um, so again, $29 and it comes in, I want to say like four or five different colors and so it should be a shade for every skin tone or a shade for every shade as I like to say. Um, that you would like and again this is kind of like the classic red there's a more deeper kind of burgundy red as well and then the chocolate and then there was a couple of more uh pinky and pinkish uh pinkish purpley kind of uh look to it so more pink less purple but it had a little lavender in it so that is everything that i have here again that was from sephora and ulta um if you tried any of these things or if you're thinking about trying them, let me know in the comments so we can chat about that. But until then, thanks so much for watching. See you next time.